He was an icon in the art world and to this day continues to inspire younger generations. It's been 24 years since Bob Ross's death, but his legacy lives on in his workshop out in Volusia County. It's where hobbyist painters of all ages and those interested in becoming a Bob Ross instructor go to brush up on their skills. <laughs> New 6 at 9's Carolina Cardona checked it out. He was known for his relaxed style and, of course, big hair. In 1992, Bob Ross opened this workshop in New Smyrna Beach, and almost 30 years later, it continues to thrive, with people wanting to learn the Bob Ross technique. It's a dream come true for me. I've, I've followed Bob since I was just a little boy and began painting along with him. Nicholas Hankins didn't have a chance to meet Bob Ross. You should also find two small brushes. But his ultimate career goal was to learn how to paint like him. I was always interested in art. I always liked to draw, but Bob really lit the fire to, uh, to keep me going. Today, Hankins is the manager and instructor at the Bob Ross Art Workshop and Gallery in New Smyrna Beach, where the easel Ross used still serves its purpose, and Hankins gets to use it. Have you ever seen his little fingernail on the show and it's real long? Rudy Batista is taking his fourth workshop class. He's learning to paint an Everglades scene using Bob's technique, the wet-on-wet -wet oil painting technique. You learn to sit back and look at your work, take your time. I always rushed oil painting, so now I slow down a lot. His wife came along too. I used to do um, a lot of acrylic painting, and he said, well, why don't you try this? Mm. That's, I did. He you know, showed me an episode and we kind of followed along with it and I fell in love with it. I am certainly glad to see you today. During his show's 11-year run, the Central Florida native became a household name. For Hankins, it was a delight to watch the joy of painting. I know for me, he just kind of felt like a friend. He gave you the permission to believe in yourself and then encouraged you to try it and uh, go on and have success. So that's that's kind of my story. The iconic program shows Ross teaching his signature scenes, mountains and happy trees, which seem to have been inspired by his time in the Air Force. Well, he loved nature and he loved animals. He spent 21 years in the military in Alaska and that's where the mountain landscapes really came from. Nick right now is preparing the palette with the colors I'm going to use because he's going to teach me something I'm very excited about. Do you also beat the devil out of the brush? Oh yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> Popular phrases like beat the devil out of it distinguished Ross, but he was also known for his words of encouragement. He would always say you have to have you have to have light to show the dark. And he would say that applies to life as well as painting. Okay, here I'll we go. I'll go first and you follow right after okay. me. So um, there you go. Just learned the Bob Ross technique to paint a pine tree. <laughs> I'm very happy right now. <laughs>